Hello, my name is Mark Henninger. I'm in the ministry office of the Health Sciences Campus of Loyola University in Chicago. And I'm here on April 10th, second day of Passover. It's Good Friday in the Christian calendar. I just wanted to talk to you a little bit about what's going through, at least my mind, my heart, after this difficult week uh, dealing with the coronavirus. It's been surging, as you know so well. What a strange week. Well, this is the, the day we celebrate, we commemorate the death of Jesus and all that he went through. And he was true God and true man. So he feared, as, as a true human being, he feared in his heart what was going to happen to him. I think he knew to a degree what was going to happen to him. But he stayed faithful to that. He stayed faithful to his mission. He stayed faithful to his father. And I think that's really the message that comes to me these days. What was it that allowed Jesus to go through those days with such peace, such courage, quiet strength? I think it was his relationship to the Father and the wonderful gift is that we also are called to share in that love that Jesus has for the Father. The St. Paul says, the Holy Spirit has been poured into our hearts, and it's the Holy Spirit that unites the Father and the Son. So that with that strength and with that spirit, just as Jesus did not flee the cross, he didn't run from the cross, he didn't was so afraid of the cross, but he was able to surrender to it. So also I think we can, in our own lives, as we face so many small deaths, small challenges in our own lives. We also can surrender to those when it's necessary and then rise to a new life, rise to a new life like Jesus did. So that's the message that comes to me. And I hope not just individually, you and I can go through that passion, death and resurrection, but also our whole nation going through a passion this week, going through a passion today can emerge from that later on this year and become a stronger nation, a better nation, a sober, true, true to our roots, a nation. So with that, I give you the prayer. I ask that God gives you great peace in the next coming days, weeks ahead, and your families, real peace and safety and health in many, many days to come. Thank you.